Hello and welcome once again to another episode on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. My name is Bob. In this episode I'm going to show you how I service my Hafco model AL336 centre lathe. Now what I'm going to show in this is going to be pertinent to a lot of centre lathes. Uh, this lathe is made in China and given an Australian badge and I certainly know in both England or Britain and the United States uh, similar lathes are quite happily rebadged um, by local manufacturers and, and sold as their product. The other thing is as a centre lathe a lot of it is in a common design and the points that I show in this lathe will probably be applicable to a lathe that you might own. This one has a geared headstock and being a geared headstock runs in oil so that's one of the areas we have to do an oil change on. It also has a quick change gearbox and that also runs in oil and that's an area, another area we have to do a oil change on. Finally the apron on the saddle contains a small gearbox transfer case I guess um, which also runs in oil and that's another area for an oil change as well as that there are numerous points around the lathe that need uh, manual lubrication so let's get started first thing we need to do of course is turn the power off disconnect the power the last thing you want is for it to start up while you're doing any of these jobs. I start with the headstock and my first job is to remove the rear cover over the change gears. To do this I undo the two knurled knobs that hold it in place and with a bit of juggling remove the cover. With the cover off, I do a quick check of the drive belts. Next, I come to what I see as a major design flaw in this model. The location of the headstop sump plug is directly under the drive shaft. Because of the position of the drive belts, it's almost impossible to get a suitable funnel located there to catch the oil. Having tried all sorts of tricks over the years, I've settled on this method. I undo the fill plug and remove it and then place the hose of the shop vacuum cleaner over the plug hole. Turning on the vacuum it will not suck up the oil but it does create sufficient vacuum to enable the drain plug to be removed without losing any oil. With the vacuum on I remove the drain plug. It is a bit tight so I use a shifting spanner or shifter as we call it here in Australia crescent wrench or adjustable spanner in other places and I use this to give the hex key a bit of assistance. As it comes out you'll hear the sucking of air past the plug but trust me no oil will flow out the pug hole whilst the vacuum remains in place. I have made up a hose plug which I now screw into the plug hole. Once screwed in I slip a hose over the outlet with the other end draining into a suitable container. There is about 3 litres of oil held in the headstock gearbox so in this case I'm using an empty 4 litre oil bottle to catch it. With everything in place I turn the vacuum off and the oil now drains freely from the headstock gearbox into the catch container. Once 
when the flow in the hose stops there's still some oil left in the sump so I reconnect the vacuum remove the hose plug and the hose and this time with the drain pipe or funnel in place I turn off the vacuum and allow the remaining oil to drain this latter process is not as clean as using the hose pipe but with only a small volume of oil remaining clean up is a relatively painless process once the oil has stopped flowing I refit the drain plug and can now move on to the quick change gearbox the drain plug for the quick change gearbox is also behind the change gear cover but is a whole lot more accessible using another funnel from my collection I position it below the drain plug with a steel dish in place to catch the oil I first loosen the filler plug before undoing the sump plug. Once the oil is flowing, I then remove the filler plug as well. Once the oil is all drained out, I refit the drain plug, screw it home and tighten it. I also refit the filler plug but this time only screw it in a few turns. Then it is on to the oil in the saddle apron. The drain plug for this is located under the apron and undoing this I then slide a small tray under it to catch the half litre or so of oil that the apron contains. At the same time I also remove the fill plug on top of the saddle to speed up the draining process. With the oil from the saddle all drained, the drain plug is then refitted. At this stage I refill the oil in each of the gearboxes starting with the headstock. In total about 5 litres of oil is required and here I am using ISO 46 hydraulic oil. But if you are using this video as a guide for servicing your own machine then by all means consult your manual as to the type of oil to be used. On this lathe, each gearbox is equipped with a sight glass 
that enables easy checking of the oil level. As the fill plug for the quick change gearbox is on the side, I use a pump pack to replenish the oil. The quick change gearbox has its sights glass located at the front between the gear knobs. Because it is conveniently to hand, I also use the pump pack to replenish the saddle gearbox. But this could also be done with a small funnel on top. The final oil level is checked through the sight glass, uh, in this case located at the front of the apron. With all the gearboxes refilled, it is on to the other lubrication points. I start at the drive end of the lathe, first applying grease to the change gears. I use a molybdenum based grease for this purpose. There is also a bearing on the input shaft of the quick change gearbox that needs to be oiled. followed by another bearing on the lead screw output. Then it is on to the saddle where numerous oil points will require attention. From the saddle I head to the rear of the lathe bed, attending to the oil points on the end bearings for the, both the lead screw and the feed shaft. My final set of lubrication points are located on the tailstock. After brushing to make sure the thread of the lead screw is clear of swarf, I oil it as well.
I change the oil in the gearboxes once a year, but I re-oil the lubrication points on a regular basis related to lathe use. If I swap out change gears, I will also grease the replacement gears as part of that process. My last job is to grease the rack on the lathe bed. I apply a good layer, uh, which will enable the pinion gear to pick it up as the saddle moves along the bed. Finally, I check the operation of the lathe, which also gives the new oil the opportunity to circulate in the gearboxes and for me to check that their operating levels are correct. I hope you enjoyed that episode, and if you did, I'd welcome a thumbs up, and please share it widely. If you haven't already subscribed, well why not think about subscribing? It's easy to do, do it now. There may be a little card that you can hit to take you to a subscription, or just go down below, hit the subscribe bar. While you're there, ding the bell so that you're reminded every time a new video from the White Dog Garage YouTube channel comes out. Thank you once again for watching.